Hello everyone, in my last video I have shown you how to create a list variable and how to create an instance of this list variable in memory and I have um, added some values to this list variable like employee names John, Smith, Steve, Ankit and Akshay and I have used an add, add to collection activity to add the values to a specified collection and I have used for each activity to iterate through this list variable to print all the values inside this list variable employee names and I have used write line activity to print the values in the output and now in this video I am going to show you how to use exits in collection activity to check whether the given element is exits in the specified collection or not okay so for this I am going to delete this for each activity and I'm also going to delete this add collection so this is an list variable employee names and I have here added some values like John Smith Steve Ankit and Akshay so this is how to create the instance of the list in memory so we need to use this syntax and we need to pass the values like this so let me drag and drop this exists in collection activity into designer panel and click on this activity go to the properties panel and you need to fill some mandatory fields in this properties panel so here collection is nothing but to which list you are going to add the values or in which list you are going to check the whether the given value exists in the collection or not okay and this item item field is nothing but the value you have to given uh, like which value you are going to check in this list variable okay so i'm going to give the collection name as employee names so and inside this item i will give the name akshay it will go and check whether the name Akshay is exists in this uh, employee names variable in list variable or not. So I am going to create a variable in this uh, result field to store the result and I will name it as list out or exist or not. just simply exits and change its type of argument to string so I will print the output using this write line activity and I am going to pass this output variable name exits dot to string so this write line activity displays only text values so we need to convert this to string so this exists in collection activity is going to display as a boolean value like true or false when the given value exists in this list variable then it will return true when the given value is not exists in this list variable employee names it will return as false okay so let me run this process and show you So it is showing us a false value because even Akshay is exists in this list variable it is completely case sensitive so I should give a small letter a when giving the value in this item field so let me change this value to so I am going to change the letter a so I am giving the value Akshay which is exists in this uh, list variable so we can expect the output which is true uh, let me run the process and see so look at the output panel it is showing the boolean value true because 
the given value akshay is exists in the implied names list variable so this is how to use this exists in collection activity in list thanks for watching please do subscribe and like to my video